Hello, welcome to the Two Smart Guys Show. I'm Pox. Every week we bring you the latest and greatest in tech news, mods, hacks, fun little projects that I find interesting, cool little gadgets like the Chromecast. Uh, this little Chromecast costs 35 bucks. If you were lucky enough to order it in the first couple days, you got three months of Netflix. Pretty neat little device. It basically is kind of like an Apple TV that only does AirPlay. So it allows you to extend the screen of whatever device you're using it on inside the Chrome browser or any apps that support Chromecast. So Netflix, YouTube, a little icon for Chromecast. You can be watching a video, you hit the button, it goes to the screen. Today's show, I'm going to be talking about the little tricks that you can do to get the most out of this. I found in, inside of Chromecast, you, you download a setup app after you plug in the Chromecast on whatever device you're going to use it on, and it finds the app. So you have to have Wi-Fi, so if you're on a desktop, it doesn't work unless you have Wi-Fi. So if you have a laptop, that works best, and it'll identify it or, you know, a Chrome, or a, an Android app. You can do it on your phone. Anyways, after it's set up, um, then you've got this, these little tabs on your, your browser where you can send whatever you're looking at to the Chromecast. So, like, right now, I'm going to send the live stream over to the Chromecast. So, this is the YouTube channel right now that we're on. And I just resized the window and you can kind of see it getting bigger and smaller. Here's some of the tips. One, you can pull up Hulu.com. Right now I'm pulling it up in a separate tab than the comments. And then you can tell it, cast this tab and it'll switch over to Hulu. So normally Hulu doesn't allow you to watch regular Hulu on a TV. This lets you do it. it there's no real restriction on it. You just go full screen. Uh, in my case, I have two monitors, so I just move the tab over to my other monitor and full screen it, and it plays full screen on the computer. So that's that's one little cool trick, which actually seems very obvious, but you don't always think about it. You're like, hey, I can use this to watch um, all these like live streaming websites that normally don't let you do it on the TV. So that's that's one one little thing the other thing I noticed is it can be choppy at times depending on your Wi-Fi and how well your setup is at your house so one of the things to adjust is the settings so if you go to the options you can pick the tab projection quality if you're watching like some fast moving video you might want to use the high 720p because if you use the extreme 720p the frame rate kind of drops a little bit it, it's not it's not fantastic. It doesn't seem to really do the 1080p projection from your computer monitor to the TV very well, although Netflix does. So because you're not streaming from your computer to the TV, it's actually taking the stream directly inside the Chromecast. And so it's not it's not a matter of streaming to your, your network and pulling from the internet at the same time. It's just pulling directly from the internet. So those are, those are just a couple little tips on, on how to use the Chromecast. It I thought they were interesting. Uh, if you guys have any comments or any cool little tips that might have worked out good for you, please post them in the comments. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching the show. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one little tip that I found out and the little mini review of the Chromecast. Please tune into the show. We do shows every Wednesday night live, broadcasting here on YouTube. TwoSmartGuys.com, uh, my channel here, uh, Pox98. Please subscribe. We do these shows, post the nice quality finished ones on Mondays. And we'll see you guys next week. This has been a Two Smart Guys production. 